The Verkata DK11 Demo Kit allows you to experience the benefits of Verkata's cloud-managed access control solution in an easy, simplified way. In this video, we'll walk you through everything you need to do to set up your Verkata Demo Kit. To set up your Verkata Demo Kit, you'll need a working Ethernet connection and two standard power outlets. In the DK11 box, you'll find two PoE injectors and four Ethernet cables. To get started with the DK11, simply unpack the unit and place it on a flat tabletop. First, connect your DK11 to power and internet by plugging in the AC adapters to the two PoE injectors. Then, connect the out ports to your DK11 and the in ports to a network port or switch. Once connected to power, the demo kit may start updating. This will be indicated by a series of flashing orange and blue lights. Once the DK11 is solid blue, you're ready to go. Next, let's log into Verkata Command. To start, create a command org by specifying the name of your organization. Now, create a new site and choose the location for your org. Give your site a name in Verkata Command. Next, let's add the site location details into Verkata Command. Now that we have a site set up, we're gonna set up the CM41 camera that is mounted to the DK11. Check the bottom of your DK11 or the packaging to find the serial numbers for the CM41 camera and the AC41 door controller. Enter the serial number from the camera in Verkata command and hit activate. We have now added the camera to our organization and after it updates, it will come online. Now, let's set up our AC41. To start, Enter the AC41 serial number and click Activate. Give the AC41 a name within your site. We're going to call this AC41 Door Controller. You'll also have to add a building and a floor. You can do that with the Location drop-down. Now, click the Activate button. The AC41 should now show active in your org. Click on it and a new tab will open, allowing you to add a door. Click add door on door slot 1. We must select door slot 1 because that's what everything is plugged into on the AC41. Select the camera you just added and give the door a name. For example, demo door. Now click next. Now let's set up your door. Keep the DPI settings on, scroll down and turn on Rex unlocks door, notify if the door is forced open. Click next, click done. We will add access levels later. Now let's do our access level setup. Go to Home, Access tab, click on the three dots next to the site name, then click Access Levels. Click Add in the upper right. Next, let's name the access level. We'll call this access level 24-7 All Access. Click Add Group, then Create Group. From here, click Next. Select the door we've just added, click Done, and you'll see the access level you've just created. From here, you can modify the access schedule and adjust when this level has access to the door. Now, let's set up your user. Click Home, Access tab, and from here, click the Access Users button in the upper right. Click on your user. From here, click the Profile tab at the top of the page. Scroll down to Credentials and click Add new card. Click scan card and choose the door you created. When the counter starts, scan one of the cards in the demo kit envelope and click done. This will assign the card to your user. Now let's set up a lockdown scenario. Go to home, access, and find your site. Click the three dots next to the site name and click settings. Click on lockdown scenarios and hit add lockdown scenario. Give your lockdown a name and a message that will display when the lockdown is activated. Select your demo door and click Next. Click Add Group and select the group we created earlier. You can select different groups that can release or unlock doors during a lockdown, but for now, we will keep these toggles off. Click Done to finish. Now we're ready to set up our panic button. Click on the Devices tab located in the left sidebar and click on your access controller. From here, scroll down and click on Add Aux. Select Type, 
as input lockdown and press add. And boom, you're finished with setup. Let's give it a go. Let's scan the card we just added, which will unlock the door. Let's open it up and see what's inside. We can also unlock the door by pressing the Rex button to simulate a request to exit event. Now let's go in command and see our access events. Navigate to home, access, and select the door. From here, we can see the event of us opening the door, as well as Verkata's native access control and camera integration. In addition, we can also make changes to any door schedules, access levels, or door settings if needed. Finally, we can trigger a lockdown by pressing the lockdown button on the DK11. We'll now see the red LED on the reader start flashing, as well as a warning banner displayed in command. We can release the lockdown by pressing the release lockdown text at the top of the page. With the Verkata demo kit, you can experience the full benefits of Verkata's integrated access control and camera platform. Additionally, this demo kit also allows you to set up Bluetooth unlock, receive alerts, design user badges, and more. For more information regarding your Verkata demo kit, feel free to reach out to us or explore the resources on verkata.com.